far back here, right? Have other people sat here and not messed you up? Okay, I'll see if I can.
and our very careers and our professional and in many cases our personal lives are intertwined with some of these questions. Um, and so in thinking about the list of people that I wanted to have in this cohort and putting this together for this, first you're going to hear about some people and you're going to meet some of them, but not all of them. It's tempting to say, oh well, who is the most important? And what you're going to see, and I think we'll all agree, is that you're going to meet and hear about a great many runners-up Sit very close to first for this question, first among equals. But if we ask ourselves, well, who is the very, very first among equals to answer the question, it has to be mom. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's not all. I'm going to say a little bit about her. She's here today. Want to stand up and say hello to people? There she is. So, Steve's mom's name is Elsie, and you're going to learn a little bit about her in the first few slides. Uh, Elsie was born Elsie Leitner, and this is a picture of her college graduation. Now, she was a remarkable young woman, the daughter of immigrants, who somehow through great persuasive uh, argument, it must have been, in the midst of the Depression, managed to persuade her family to send her to college. And this is her graduation picture. She looks young. She was young. She graduated from college at the age of 19. Now, that's quite remarkable. But before she managed to even graduate, she went and got married. Now, um, she married Erwin Gottesman, apparently the week before her graduation, and here they are. And I don't know if that's their wedding picture. We just pulled it out of the album, but it's certainly close by. Um, and uh, perhaps even more recklessly, they proceeded right away to have two babies, uh, Midge and Steve. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we all knew that. Now, one of our students, somewhat to my horror this morning, reminded me of something, that advice I supposedly gave him, which I don't remember. You know what I'm going to say now? It was Pepe Contreras Vidal, who met his wife in the CNS program, a fellow student. And uh, before they managed to even get out of here, they were having a baby and so on. And apparently, and Pepe this morning said that I gave him the advice that they were going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and he said then that they took my advice and their second child was born 10 years later. <laughs> and, and we're happy that they were both here at the conference and Pepe gave a talk. Now, um, no doubt, Elsie got the same advice about her second child from uh, many relatives. Certainly, I would have given her the same advice. She's a very young woman. What's the big rush? Well, first, we know that if she had waited 10 years, we'd be celebrating Steve's 55th birthday, not his 65th birthday. But in this case, it would not have been because Irwin spent the next year dying of Hodgkin's disease. But life goes on. Elsie was left as a very young woman with two babies. Here they are the next summer after Irwin had died at Coney Island with Elsie, with Mitch, and Steve. <laughs> wondering what the camera is. It's only going to get worse. Okay? <laughs> time of the World War II was going on, but they did survive and they did thrive. Um, this, in fact, in case you doubt that Steve was not born Steve Grossberg, in fact, he was born Stephen Gottesman, Elsie at one point managed to give me all his report cards, and the very first one I got, <laughs> it says Stephen, yes, Stephen Gottesman, his kindergarten report card which I happen to have here with me. But I have to say, if you want to come 
glove and handle it, you have to put on white cotton gloves. <laughs> We're going to donate it to the Rare Book Archive. <laughs>